Welcome to Ranked Bedwars, a community-run game mode designed to bring competitive matchmaking to Bedwars. In Ranked Bedwars, two teams face off 4 versus 4, and the winning team gains ELO. To begin playing, the first thing you have to do is join the Ranked Bedwars Discord. Once you've joined, you have to link your Hypixel account to your Discord account. To do so, click on the player head, the social media icon, the Discord icon, copy your Discord username, and paste it in chat. Now, head to the register channel and type equal register your IGN. You should see a message saying your account was linked. In Ranked Bedwars, to stay organized, each player picks a role. The roles are first, also known as the bridger, second, third, and fourth, also known as the defender. The first stands at the front of the generator, drops their gold, and once they have 32 iron, buys two stacks of blocks for bridging. Normally, the bridge are two stacks until they hit high limit. Some maps are different though, like Invasion and Lectus, where you have to turn at the diamond generator. The second gets 12 gold for iron armor, and then spends whatever iron they have on blocks, a pick, and shears. The third gets 12 gold for iron armor, a fireball, tools if possible, and wool. The defender, also known as the fourth, should drop all their gold, wait for at least 72 iron, and then buy endstone and glass. The defense most commonly used in ranked bedwars is the butterfly defense, which looks like this. It requires 12 endstone and 16 glass. In ranked bedwars, the banned items change each season. Often, emeralds are banned until bed break, which means both teams can spend emeralds after either bed is broken. Before playing, it's important that you check the banned items, because if you win after using an item that's disallowed, you and your team won't gain any elo. The rules can be found in the info-rules channel. In the first fight, if you're the bridger, it's smartest not to push quickly. Instead, build a platform. That way, you're less likely to fall off during the first fight. All players should attempt to get up the bridge quickly. That way, their team doesn't get outnumbered. The third should try to find an opening to fireball the opponents, like when they're looking down or away. The defender should stand further back from the rest of the team. That way, the other team can't fireball jump past everyone and get the bed in a first rush. The whole team should avoid standing too close to teammates because it makes you easier to fireball off. One of the most important parts of Ranked Bedwars is understanding pressure. Holding pressure is when you stop your opponents from coming up their bridge. There are a lot of ways you can do this, like building a bridge over their bridge, threatening their beds so they have to stay back, or destroying their bridge so it's harder to climb. Because the point of holding is to stall for time, patience is very important. Try your best not to take too many fights. Just because you can kill someone doesn't always mean you should. It's important to hold so that your teammates can get diamonds and emeralds. If you drop for the bed, sometimes the loss of pressure stops you from gaining a diamond advantage. Along with this, if your teammates are holding, you should go for diamonds. If you want to break beds, you should learn to block in quickly. There's a practice map in the description. If you're planning on breaking the bed, assume the other team has a trap, so bring magic milk, especially if you're invising. If your team can't get the bed, try getting stacked and all dropping at once. Bed breaking, like holding pressure, is a skill that takes time to learn, so to improve, it's important to try a lot. To queue, join the voice channel for your elo range. For example, because I'm above 600 elo, I join the 600 plus queue. Once the queue is full, 8 players will soon be moved by a bot into a game call. In a text channel made for the game, you will be pinged and two captains will be randomly selected by the bot. The captains alternate picking with the command equal P until no one is left. The command equal QS can be used to check everyone in the queue's stats, and equal I to check an individual's stats. If you're a captain, it's wise to check other players' roles. If someone has pugs, it usually means they're good. After picking teams is finished, the second team will be moved into a new call, at which point you're ready to play. Someone in the queue has to make a party and host a private game. After the game is done, if your team won, take a screenshot of the kill board and use the command equals score with the screenshot attached. 
I asked a ton of players to give tips for this video. Here's what they said. Make sure to stay on the bed if it's a 1v1. You don't want to get one tapped off. Learn how to use your ping. Don't get mad at losses, and remember that improvement takes time. If someone on the other team goes side, someone on your team should too. Learn from your mistakes. Watch good players, try to copy what they do. Listen to your teammates, and don't have an ego. Wood your bed early. Always try to know the location of all four players on the other team. Focus on game sense. Don't stand inside teammates on the bridge, you'll both get hit off easily. Well, that's all. Thank you for watching.